Good evening. This is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated Jernitor evening headlines on March 15, 2022. It's the right thing to do, the 300,000 volunteer hackers coming together to fight Russia. The Guardian, recruits flock to Ukraine's cyber army, news, the Sunday Times. Russian protester holds up sign saying, two words, and is marched away by armed police seconds later. The Independent, police arrest Russian peace protester within seconds of starting interview. The Telegraph sad face, 3, Ukrainian government says more than 5,000 people used humanitarian corridors Sunday. CNN, journalists are among the people detained during Russian anti-war protests. CNN sad face, 2, more than 850 detained in anti-war protests across Russia on Sunday. I offer you a chance to live, Zelensky calls on Russian troops to surrender. The Independent, I offer you a chance to survive. Zelensky urges Russian troops to surrender. Video. The Guardian, analysis, Zelensky looks to turn the plaudits HES earned into the assistance he wants. The Washington Post, Zelensky visits wounded soldiers in hospital to hand out medals and make them heroes of Ukraine. The Independent, March 14, 2022 Russia-Ukraine News. Fortress Odessa, city falls silent as fearful residents await Russian advance. The Guardian, Odessa, a city that would be Russia's greatest prize in the war for Ukraine. ITV News, Ukraine war, we are ready to die, defiant Ukrainians in Odessa prepare to fight Russian army. Nuclear war no longer unthinkable, warns former RAF chief. Ukrainians can no longer demand Putin's death on Facebook and Instagram, Meta says in U-turn. The Independent, this is my life, Russian influences take stock after Instagram access blocked. The Guardian, Russians bid hasty farewell to Instagram. Financial Times, Russia bans Instagram, taking 80 million users offline. The Independent, Facebook and Instagram users not allowed to call for death of Putin. US police arrest suspected gunmen over deaths of homeless people. The Guardian, Washington and New York homeless shootings, police warn we're coming for you as new close-up image shows suspects face. Sky News, killer shoots five homeless men in New York and Washington. The Times, as police hunt for gunmen, fear rattles homeless people in two cities. The New York Times, police offer $70,000 reward for gunmen who shot five homeless people in New York and Washington, D.C. 100,000 welcomes, how Ireland has embraced Ukrainians fleeing war. The Independent, stop donating soil duvets to Ukraine, Irish public told. The Times, cabinet to hold emergency video meeting on refugee arrivals. The Irish Times, Ireland to take 500 Ukrainian refugees from Moldova. The Independent, I don't know if my flat is still there, the Ukrainians landing in Dublin. Oil tumbles below $100 on Ukraine talks, China COVID worries, and Iran nuclear deal hopes, business live. The Guardian, crude oil prices fall as China lockdowns dampen demand outlook. Daily FX, oil down over 4% on the day, back below the $100 mark. Forex Live, oil price falls below $100 amid Russia-Ukraine ceasefire talks. The Guardian, oil drops below $100 as Russia and Ukraine negotiate ceasefire. Ukraine, Russia, planning referendum to legitimize control of southern Kherson region. The Independent, residents of Kherson, Ukraine, rally against Russian occupation. NBC News sad face, 2, humanitarian aid convoy fails to reach the city of Mariupol. CNN, Russia claims to have captured Kherson region of Ukraine. The Independent, protests continue in Russia-occupied Kherson. Fears three British ex-Special Forces troops killed by Russian attack in Ukraine. The Independent, Russian drone entered Polish airspace news. The Times, moment Russia strikes Yavoriv military base killing 35 people. The Telegraph, three British former Special Forces troops feared dead in Russian airstrike in Ukraine. Manchester Evening News, Russian missile strike near NATO's Poland stirs anxiety. Government seeks to finalize sovereign investment deal with Saudi Arabia. Sky News, Boris Johnson plans Saudi Arabia visit to seek oil supply increase. The Guardian, MPs call on Boris Johnson to cancel Saudi Arabia visit after mass execution, as minister defends Newcastle United takeover.
Sky News, Boris Johnson's visit to Saudi Arabia is a trip too far, John Rental. The Independent, Boris Johnson will push Saudi regime to denounce Ukraine invasion. Marina Ovsyanikova, Russian journalist in court after TV protest. BBC, Russian journalist behind TV protest records message before going missing. The Telegraph, they're lying to you, Russian TV employee interrupts news broadcast. The Guardian, woman in Russian state TV protest showed huge bravery, says UK minister. The Independent, beatings and psychological torture, the fate that awaits Russian dissidents like Marina Ovsyanikova. Fox News cameraman Pierre Zakazuski killed in Ukraine. The Guardian, Russia-Ukraine war, British Fox News journalist injured. BBC, Ukraine war, Fox News cameraman killed in attack near Kyiv. Sky News, a Fox News correspondent is seriously injured in Ukraine, while Russian memos praise Tucker Carlson. The independent, British Fox News journalist seriously injured in Ukraine. Ukraine war, Kyiv Mayor Vitaly Klitschko announces 35-hour curfew, as UK warns of subversion of democracy. Sky News, Ukraine war latest, Kyiv facing dangerous moment, Mayor says. BBC, Russia-Ukraine latest news, March 15, 2022. Bloomberg, Kyiv curfew announced after Russia strikes Kyiv Sviatoshinsky, Oberlin and Podilsky districts. The Washington Post, Russian bombardment of Kyiv kills four, curfew called. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.